This morning, the story of a family paying tribute to a lost brother by reviving a lost part of New York City. Feldman's hot dogs were the first and original hot dogs before Nathan's or anyone else invented by a German immigrant in the 1800s. The Feldman story is not well known around most of the country, but it's legendary in Coney Island, the famed Brooklyn Beach destination. A trio of brothers grew up hearing stories of the old Feldman's restaurant. And now two of those brothers have brought Feldman's back, carried by the memory of the one they lost. I always had to think of the history. I was a former a teacher. And I love New York City history. You know, I just, my family's been here, our, our family has been in New York City for t over 200 years, 202 years. Mike, Jimmy, and Joe Quinn were always taught to have big dreams, part of a proud Irish family in a city known for big ideas. One entrepreneur the boys always heard about was Charles Feltman, who in 1867 invented the hot dog. At its peak in the early 1900s, some believe Feltman's was the largest restaurant in the world. Feltman would serve 10,000 people in one sitting. So to put that in perspective, Battery Park City has 10,000 residents. So picture feeding Battery Park City every evening. That's Feltman's. The Quinn brothers were raised on success stories like Feltman's. 20 years ago, it seemed like they could be on their way, too, with Joe enrolling at West Point and Jimmy getting a high-profile job in Manhattan's financial district. Then came 9-11. Jimmy was on the 104th floor of the North Tower, just a few floors above where the first plane struck. Does it feel like 20 years? It, it, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. um, for us, it's every day. After the attack, Joe says he went looking for revenge, spending a dozen years in the Army, serving three tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. Mike looked for meaning. What happened, I was left alone. That decade after 9-11 was hell with a capital H. It was very lonely, very sad. And I think me just falling in love with the city, going to places that have been here for over a century, really made me fall, fall in love with the city again. Mike started doing history tours at Coney Island. Then, six years ago, over beers at McSorley's Ale House, the oldest Irish saloon in New York City, and a personal favorite of Jimmy Quinn's, Mike and Joe made a pact to revive a dream they once had with their now fallen brother. It was time to bring Feltman's back. That's a delicious hot dog. It's tremendous. Yeah. It's got that snap. Yeah, it the does. Juices it, flow out. it really does. Not like your normal hot dog. No. Yeah. Today, the reborn Feltman's is the fastest growing hot dog company in the country. One of the places you can get them is, of course, right here at McSorley's. For the bar where the beer options are simply light or dark, this marked the first change to their menu in over 60 years. This meant more to me, bringing Feltman's to McSorley's, than back to Coney Island or anywhere else. Mike is the face of the Feltman's operation. Joe is logistics. Jimmy, the soul. I guess there's a lot of people who order a Feltman's hot dog here mm -hmm. and maybe don't understand everything that's behind it. Yeah, and that's the importance of, of you and, and things like this, to just tell the story that this isn't just um, a bar, that this isn't just a hot dog, mm -hmm. this is part of New York history, it's part mm -hmm. of family history, mm -hmm. it's just, you know, how can we make a little money in business but also make a big impact and, and tell those stories and have our loved ones live on. <laughs> getting excited already. Look at that. What do you think Jimmy would think about Feltman's? He would think it was insane. You know, just he would yeah, laugh. He would, out of it. he would just yeah. be like, I can't believe you guys pulled it off, and I can't yeah. believe you're trying to pull it off without me. But you're not pulling it off without him. He's he's still in you guys. I mean, and... He is. And, exactly. And, and, we, and all we really do think is a small business going against bigger businesses with more resources, Jimmy's our competitive advantage. Today, three quarters of Feltman's employees are veterans. Mike and Joe also formed a nonprofit called Three Brothers that sends money to Gold Star families. We have a mission beyond selling hot dogs. Do you want people to think about that when they buy Feltman's? Of course. And we're going to do whatever we can to, to support those people that gave the ultimate si sacrifice, those Gold Star families and those veterans that are, that are suffering really hard right now. Suffering hard especially now, Joe says, because of the recent resurgence of the Taliban in Afghanistan following the U.S. withdrawal. He spent the past few weeks acting as counselor and friend. 
it is a stain on our country that we're leaving Afghan interpreters and those that um, helped us there in, in, behind. And in those images of, the, of Afghans that worked with us, you know, jumping on to, to aircrafts and trying to get on, that needs to be fixed. There needs to be solutions, not blame of this president or that president, this person to this. What's the solution to help those people now and to, into the future? And then the second half of that, how are we going to help our veterans that are dealing with severe moral injury um, of putting their lives and, and having friends that were have been killed in Afghanistan? And and for families to see, you know, what, what transpired, and, and that's what we've done over the last 20 years is just a shame. And guess what? We're all going to forget about it after this weekend. But who's not going to forget our military veterans and Gold Star families and, 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 and those that gave the ultimate sacrifice and our veterans that served there and even in Iraq? Um, and what are the mental health resources that we need to provide for them? It's just, it's still raw, the emotion. On this day, the 20th anniversary of 9-11, Joe and Mike will once again be back at the September 11 memorial, where they'll pay tribute at the site where Jimmy died. My mother and I have never missed a year. We do it for Jimmy, you know, more than anything, because we know that he'd want someone here to represent him when the name, his name is called. Then they'll get back to work at a place where he lives on. You know, to me, although war is complex, all of 9-11 is complex, I think of it like McSorley's, right? You have two choices, light ale or dark ale. And sometimes in life, you have two choices, the light or the dark. And I'm just glad that six years ago, Mike and I cho chose the light. So are we. Mm, so are we. Beautiful piece, Jeff. It really beautiful. was. Um, no, um, no formal recipe was ever passed along. So, but they used to talk about how their grandfather would always tell them about what made the perfect hot dog, <laughs> all the way down to the casing, right? Oh, wow. I, what I love about stories like this is how we peel away an understanding of what's behind something we knew nothing about. And you really. think about it next time you have one. Yes, you will. Yeah.